outstanding. From what you say <laughs> on this issue, you will upset somebody. That's probably true. But today, unless you really don't like sunshine, was a day you would embrace. Well, I don't like sunshine. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. The vampire is very upset very with today's angry. weather. I can tell you that much. You know, we broke a, a Tuesday tradition over the last few months. It was not rainy. It was not cloudy. It was not stormy. It was just sunny. A dry Tuesday for the first time since October. So we break the streak and overall the stormy fall has really added up. Taking a look at Quabbin Reservoir, they do a monthly update at 100% capacity right now. In fact, a little bit over 100%. The highest water level there in almost seven years. Going back to January 2012, that was coming off the exceptionally wet year of 2011. So compared to December at this time two years ago, we've gained 86 billion gallons of water in the Quabbin Reservoir. We're getting close to an all-time state record for rainfall for a year. The record is a little over 76 inches of rain. That was in 1996. Kingston is sitting at 71.09 inches of rainfall. I think we'll come up short, but we'll see what happens at the very uh, home stretch of December. We know for the next week or so, it's all about the chill in the air. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s tonight. It's going to stay cold throughout the forecast. Clear skies, dry air. A lot of starlight, a lot of chill. Teens for pretty much all the suburbs tonight and lower 20s in downtown Boston. So we will start the day with crisp, cold, clear sunshine. And you'll notice Venus in the sky early tomorrow morning. Notice a lot of people were really talking about it on the commute on into work. And then during the day tomorrow, a light onshore breeze develops out of the northeast. And this is going to bring some increase in coastal cloudiness late morning into the afternoon. Might even be a couple flurries in there around Plymouth County and the Upper Cape. And then we'll see some high and mid-level clouds increase across the rest of the area during the later afternoon. All told, not a bad day, just chilly, much less wind. We start the day close to 20 with those teens in the suburbs. And then some coastal clouds on the increase. We'll look at high temperatures in the low to middle 30s for tomorrow afternoon. So not a lot of wind compared to today, but a little more cloud cover to deal with, especially near the coastline. Then we're watching that storm system, which was going to be close the whole time, but this one is just offshore for tomorrow, missing us to the south and east. Thursday starts with sunshine. We'll see some increasing afternoon clouds. Then a reinforcing shot of cold air swoops in for Friday and will be with us through the upcoming weekend. So all told, tomorrow features some of the calmest winds of the forecast. Thursday is the mildest day, but still just around 40 for a high. Friday will be the most blustery or stronger northwest winds there, making it feel more uncomfortable outdoors. And then our coldest overall day is going to be Saturday. Some towns in central Mass will stay in the 20s for high temperatures on Saturday. But other than that, no major weekend issues out there. It's just going to be dry and cold. So if you're doing any holiday shopping or some traveling, not expecting any problems. We are watching this next storm, which will be significant in the southeast and likely into the mid-Atlantic. Still a little uncertain as to whether it will be able to climb the coast and bring us any impact here. It wouldn't be until Tuesday of next week. So we're talking seven days from now for the next chance of any storminess here in New England. And something else we'll be watching this weekend, the earliest sunset of the year. It happens this weekend and gradually it starts to turn around, becoming later Later and later, you probably won't notice it until January as we're just gaining seconds and minutes over the next few weeks. But hey, it's a start. And overall, the forecast is just cold. A lot of sunshine out there, but temps feeling more like uh, January than early December. David Lisa, back to you. All right, Eric, thank you.